So week 14 was a super strange one as we had one of the biggest opportunities of this series to really push this franchise forward. And that is with a breakout quarterback scenario for rookie quarterback Jadarius Lewis. And well, spoiler alert, we earned that dev up. The only problem is we also earned him a spot on the bench as he is injured for three games, which basically is almost the rest of the regular season, which at seven and six, there's a good chance we make the playoffs. But if this quarterback situation really struggles and we lose the rest of our games, we're absolutely out. So great opportunity. We love to see that he went to Sardev, but a huge injury has definitely hurt even his chances, maybe a rookie of the year, which will give him another dev up, but our chances to make the playoffs. Obviously, Cunningham is is probably capable. We've won some games with him. He's looked okay, but Ultimately, you know, there's a reason why Jadarius was starting. Almost every quarterback on the roster right now has been benched one time or another. But regardless, headed on to Week 15 against the Dragons. No breakout this time. Uh, 87 overall for them, 76 for us. They're 6-7, and seven, we're 7-6. Seven and six. The Orbit's two, two and a half games behind. If we can just win, I think, one more game, I think we have the division locked up. Even if it's like a really weak win-loss scenario, we would still be in the playoffs. And looking at the players of the week, some interesting names is you have Minshew putting up five touchdowns passing, but Amon Ross St. Brown with 241 yards with three touchdowns. And then defensively, both guys looking very similar. An interception, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and then Brian Branch getting an interception and a forced fumble, but had a touchdown instead of the recovery. Uh, so some pretty uh, interesting names there as well. But let's take a look at our team, see what we're looking at. I think it is going to be Cunningham that gets the starting job again. But we are on a, a short leash situation once again as we need to win these games. And I do not want a quarterback that is just selling us as the starter. The only guy on offense that is positive morale is Rodriguez. Everyone is really sad. We lost... Uh, and we, you know, had a big scenario game there as well. Not even just the breakout. Uh, Cam Jones, did we see his ability upgrade? I think we did. Strip specialist. Was that actually what we had? I mean, there really wasn't many options. Like, anyways. But still. Strip specialist. That's not terrible. Uh, defensively, looking at the numbers, though. The uh, the guys. Uh, Ronnie Shelton now down three. Jackson down three. A bunch of morale drops. But... I think most of that is going to be like play rack awareness kind of stuff. Uh, oh, it's not. It is absolutely not. His freaking pass rush ability sucks too. How is that fair at all? What about Cunningham? Is his like throw power down? Okay, it's just the accuracies, thankfully. But still, really? Oh, I just forgot how to pass rush this week. Whoops. Also, if you guys want to see another episode tomorrow, 200 likes and we shall get there. I didn't really even plan on uh, doing one for tomorrow, so... Jordan likes will change the plans, I guess. Anyways, let's get into it. How come injury-wise, it's just us? <laughs> the, the dreadnoughts are like, oh yeah, our center is dead. And it's not really a quarterback, though. Uh, fractured elbow for Hilliard. Garrett Wilson, that's a pretty big injury for the Orbits, actually. But uh, yeah, obviously we have basically the most significant because our quarterback's out. And <laughs> there's other teams like, yeah, well, your quarterback sucks. But tell that to his hidden dev or his star dev. I don't even know. Is he star or hidden? I didn't even look. Um, but throw power at 92. 81 accuracy. 84 medium. 83 deep. Uh, you know, around 80 throw on the run. Howell's not bad by any means. And he can run if he has to. James Cook, he is a pretty elusive, fast running back. Uh, fullback apparently is Cam Akers. Wide receivers, a lot of speed. Jalen Waddle at 99 speed. Christian Watson with 96 speed. And then if you add the height with it, basically 99 speed because that is a ridiculous combo. Number three, Osborne. It's always the guys like Osborne or like a Kyle Phillips or Hutchinson. All these types of players are usually the, the toughest for us to stop. Johnny Smith, he's fast, but he is definitely nowhere near a great tight end. Stanley's an amazing left guard uh, or left tackle. Left guard, Raduns. Raduns. Uh, he's okay. Center, one of the best in the league. Right guard, one of the best in the league. And then Terrence Steele, very serviceable. Pass block finesse sucks, but unfortunately for us, uh, you know, Oh, we don't have a pass block finesse guy over there. It's a power guy, so he's going to be A-OK -okay with that. As far as their pass rush goes, uh, not bad. 83 finesse move, a little bit lower of an overall, but Grenard, 
uh, with an 83 or 82 finesse with 78 block shed. Ceiling's kind of reached, but he is not terrible, I suppose. DT1, he's okay. Left out, really good, uh, you know, X Factor. Uh, where is his power movie? Yeah, 93. Uh, pretty good block shit as well for a linebacker that's pass rushing. David Long and Zaire Franklin, very similar type of players, even the same kind of size. Uh, they're they're serviceable right outside linebacker. Uh, not really the best, but 86 finesse move definitely gets the job done. Jair Alexander, very, very good corner. Dante Jackson, very fast corner who's decent. And then Rocky Seen, not bad in man coverage. Free safety, Bynum, you know, he's okay zone, but very, very slow. And then Baker, pretty good zone, pretty good speed, great player there. Kicker, punter, uh, very good punter, and then kicker gets the job done. And as far as the way they play, apparently they suck at, like, everything. I'm going to guess they run the ball okay, though. And then as far as attacking them goes, interior does kind of seem weak. This could be a very quick game. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, get our trainings in here and... No quarterback. We got two upgrades for, I mean, kind of. I mean, they're starters. They're not, like... The best starters, but uh, Forbes and uh, Carl Brooks. Carl Brooks has actually had a decent season for us, but still will likely be looking to replace that position because his ceiling, unless he gets a random dev up, is pretty reached. You know, 79 power move, 75 block shed with only 85 strength. Oh, he's 24. Okay, I thought he was 25 already. 24, I mean, it's not like a huge difference, but okay, okay. I kind of feel like 25 going on 26 is your cutoff if you don't get star dev by then. If you're a lower overall, it's kind of GG, but he's 24. All right, all right. I apologize. And here it is. I would say this is a team that's pretty balanced on both sides of the ball. Uh, they do have some probably bigger names on defense uh, for superstars. Of course, you can see Morant's four yards off of 1,000 yards receiving. I don't even know, but maybe he's actually on par to win Rookie of the Year uh, if anyone, you know, let alone Jadarius Lewis, who was obviously having a pretty good game uh, season, but unfortunately out for three games. Cunningham trying to hold on the four. Like I said, I think we just need one win with the way this division is played, and it's our division. So it might not be a strong playoff run, but we at least get to the playoffs, even if we, you know, aren't even above 500. The rest of the division is just basically open this thing up for us. But here it is, Cunningham regaining the starting spot on the team. Don't know how the players feel about it, but uh, I'd say they're still pretty confident, right? They know that he can get us some wins. It's just, you know, Jadarius Lewis was the guy that they've built the most chemistry with. Regardless, though, some things never change, and that is the fact that we get to kick the ball first. And Montreal, the Monarchs, on a little bit of a slide with the Elks of all teams beating them. 21-17. to 17. Either way, kicking this ball off. It's going to be the Dragons receiving the ball first, and we're going to see what Mr. Sam Howell's got for us. Like I said, not a bad quarterback by any means. Decently accurate, good enough arm strength. Could run if he needs to, but I will say his numbers look pretty dreadful. We're going to start this thing out with a blitz on their pretty strong side, to be fair. And we do a pretty good job. Cam Jones with the hit stick. Just like last week, I believe, starting off with a really big run defense play, but we know how that ended. And, uh, yeah, let's just, just call it how it is. Not, not a very favorable finish, but a pretty good game nonetheless. And we're not going to get off the line. Out there is Weatherford, who picks it off. I was going to get a little crazy and pitch it, but didn't want to risk the ball. And the very first throw by the Dragons is picked. Weatherford in really good coverage, surprisingly. And, man, uh, was that Johnny, though? Johnny's not that great of a receiver. And he threw that to Johnny, who just didn't really have much separation. You know, he doesn't have Weatherford by much on speed, if any. And he obviously doesn't have him on size, which is crazy to think. But Weatherford is just a goon. That's all I can say. But Cunningham, he actually has numbers this year. It feels like he was replaced so long ago, but yet... 1,400 yards, nine touchdowns. You know, he's he's played snaps this season. You know, we came into this season pretty confident with him as the starter, and we thought maybe he was going to be the guy. So let's see what happens in these three weeks. You just don't know how things are going to develop. And gets blasted, but would have had a touchdown if he actually had a little more time to throw. Was a long developer, but Sean Gary gets in there. That's unfortunate. It was there. There was a touchdown to be had. Would he have hit the throw? I don't know. To the outside. What a juke move. Rodriguez doing it all to the 17. 
What a play. Shorter on the RPO. Don't know if they're on it or not, but usually pre-snap, oof. You know, it's really hard to tell. And then after snap, it looks like it's open, but it's really all about can you make one guy miss? Unfortunately, Shorter not really known for that. He's made a couple of slip-offs, but not really known for it. And I panicked. That is that is absolutely my fault, and that's picked. I thought because he was the number one tackle, though, put him at the one-yard line. I thought because um, the sit-down was like the backup tight end. I thought it was B because it's usually what they are, but I forgot we had three tight ends on that play, and I wanted X. Panicked, hit the wrong button. I was just going to straight up hit the wrong thing. Not Cunningham's fault. Good job by Morant, though, to force him out of the end zone because this could be a safety. First points of the game could be two. And trying to get in there, can he actually gets out of it. And then a face mask. Oh, no. Absolutely sold a great opportunity on the pick. And then after a pick, you know, a chance to maybe rectify it with a, a you know, a safety. Instead, 18 yards on the first play. And we're on that, but a really good hit. Who was that? Was that Weatherford? Walt James. I don't know who the hell was who at that play, but did we even blitz? How the hell did that happen? How did we even get in there with a linebacker? And there is just nobody on Christian Watson for seven. First completion. That's kind of crazy, I think, though. One completion between the two QBs, two interceptions. Ronnie. No, and that's going to be out there. And left foot close, but I think he did catch it. Oh, that's great, D. Cam Jones didn't even give him an inch. Good knockout. A little press with Forbes on Watson. And, oh, my, that throw. I don't know where he was trying to throw that, like a, a back shoulder. It was a go round, unless he was trying to throw that, like, inside crosser. Oh, Lord, we're not ready for this. And there goes Howell. Good job, defense. We'll force the punt. Hoping for a little bit more of a complete drive with our second try um have the opportunity and just you know kind of panicked not Cunningham's fault at all like I said but just unfortunate kind of ran into trouble there with Mathis of course if Cunningham actually does have bad throws though it's you know there's no guarantee on who gets to start and for how long that's a great throw by Cunningham it's only a drag route but still a great throw Coons last week, 180 yards with a touchdown. Unbelievable game. Damn near single-handedly got the scenario for us with uh, Jadarius. Unbelievable. Shorter in the motion. There's a lot going on in this play. Running back is wide open. Great throw. Leads him out there. Rodriguez doesn't go down easily to the 42. Running a little bit more of a complete slash complex scheme this week because we have a guy that can actually run now out here. And that's great timing, and it's a really good throw. I mean, it's very accurate passes so far. 11 yards to shorter on the late slant. Inside handoff to Rodriguez. Left guard played that perfectly. Oh, nice slip off, Rodriguez. Back juke to try and slow down uh, the defender. Two for 43, Rodriguez getting some decent blocks, but also taking an extra yards with the broken tackles. Play action left. Shorter would be like a really nice route here if we can actually get that ball to him. Inside, perfect throw, shorter, dives, touchdown for the big 6-4 wide receiver. Cunningham delivering some strikes. Obviously, that was pretty open, but had a guy right on him. We've seen those under-pressure throws go all over the place. Cunningham looking great as, you know, he did before he got benched. I'm just saying. All I'm going to say is a lot of things can happen in three weeks. Lit I mean, we could literally... Oh, my God, Ronnie almost just made a crazy play. We could literally see a superstar dev cutting him. Like, you just never know. You just never know. Second and one. Look pretty good to get through here. And, I mean, that was clean as they can get. And a huge hit by Wilson. Third and two is going to stop Christian Watson dead in his tracks. All they need is two yards. Don't really see why it's, you know, taking him this much effort to get this and I don't know how the hell Riley doesn't pick that off he could have picked six that thing I mean he had room from the 40 yard line outside and that's not really the guy to go to wow what a catch anyways Johnny was he's been pretty good for them the main route guy for sure so far 
I can't believe we almost got the diving knockdown. That would have been insane. Yeah, and it was one of them. I bet on the other side, but Osborne was their route. Oh, no, it was Waddle, actually. I was about to say, Osborne looking a little short, but I suppose they both look pretty thin. The outside can't get there, but a great team effort gains nothing. James Cook not really getting much going. Wilson with the hook. Trying to get back deep. Nice tackle, Forbes. Another, like, no-gainer. It's very rare to have that. Two completions, zero yards is not a common thing to see, believe it or not. We're going to start out here and then make our way over to that side. Ah, I kind of P.I'd him as well. Not him, but a different receiver. They Nothing went to that outside. It was all inside routes. I thought that... I don't know if it was Waddle, but I thought one of them was clearly going to break out right and just didn't. And outside there, somehow finds him. What a hit. Seven yards gain. Very good position here, starting the second quarter, to tie this game up. Let's take a look at the numbers, though. I would imagine we are leading by a little bit. And we are, about 20, 30 yards, maybe. I think the thing that stands out the most, though, is that they've had more complete drives, yet zero points so far. Uh, oh, nice knockout. Christian Watson, hands are a problem. Drops it. Pinch the line just in case. Over the middle. Great route. Touchdown. Osborne. I said it. I said it was going to happen and nobody believed me. I like this RPO again because there's just nobody over there. Decent blocking. Oh, shorter. Nice slip offs for 11. Beautiful. I really hate myself for that interception. Cunningham does not deserve to have an interception on his uh, game here today. Inside, okay. <laughs> Almost did deserve one. Ronnie Bell wide open. Really haven't gotten Ronnie Bell involved lately and just vastly overthrown. That is all on Cunningham. I can take credit, but I can also throw it away. I don't know what that means. Yeah, this was a handoff every day of the week. Ra there you go. Rodriguez, 11. He's had some big runs today. This play almost never works. I'm not really sure why I even run this. That's a tough play, and... It's kind of on Ronnie, a little bit. Like, you, you don't need to run all the way to the sideline. You know, you see no one's on you, you just you just stop, dude. Like, why, why are you running that thing all the way to the sideline? Oh, the play's said it to. No, just, just stop. Shorter, that's a tough one. Wow. That was a blast and a half. Zaire Franklin cooked that time, I'll tell you him that much. He destroyed us. Double move inside. Morant. Oh, what a throw. That is all Morant. That is a dot by Cunningham. Morant doesn't go for the toe drag. He tries to run through the catch. I might still have to challenge this, though, because I think he might have still caught it. This is a big play, obviously. It's the difference between a first down and a punt, so... We're going to use those challenges. It's not a bad one to use it on, I don't think. Let's see. That right foot, he just... Once again, he doesn't tap it. He runs through the play. Literally went possession, and he said, nope, potential part two from the one, question mark. See if Turk's got the leg. It's pretty slow for a kick bar, though, I gotta say. And he will return, and nobody's down there. I know they probably went, like, you know, max protect or whatever, you know, defense, max return. But how is nobody down there? We just get locked completely up? It must have. I don't know what's going on there, because I didn't, you know, block protect. There's no point to. Oh, what a run. Oh, he had the rip move. And nice, D. <laughs> Thanks. I oiled it. What? Disguising things a little bit here. I mean, oh my god. What a tackle. What a tackle by Nick for, um, Nick Jones. Uh, third to three now after that play. I mean, why the hell do I have so many DBs in? I mean, now I gotta go all out blitz. Waddle could be big. Let's see. Jones on it, but unfortunately just throws it in a perfect spot. I should have called a timeout there. Felt like we lost the timeout with the challenge. Call a timeout there. We're down to one. But that was an opportunity. Oh, wow. Wide open Osborne. First down again. You got the rush coming off that edge, which is where they got the running back kind of position to run if they're going to do it. And we don't get the pick. Osborne again. When you're switching religions. James. Caught flat foot. Oh, my God. Do you mind? Oh, what a hit. Literally hit-sticked him from behind with the ball. 
I thought he was gonna fumble that. Six minutes left. It's definitely gonna be slants. I'm gonna use her the inside slant here. It's, oh wow, that double move worked! Fumble! Jackson, recover this thing! Could be a touchdown! Jackson! Oh, he slips him! Run! He's gonna run out of juice. He's gonna run out of juice. He's gonna run out of juice! He's in! Huge touchdown! Who, who took that away? I think it was Walt James. We got beat in the double move inside, and thankfully the pressure forced him out. And the rookie Jackson scooping scores. It was Walt James knocked the thing free. And Jackson takes it away. I mean, look at how slow he is there. Almost fell down at the end. I'm pretty sure it's LB that, like, picks the ball up and scores with it, right? I was spamming the hell out of that. And, of course, after that, he is too tired to come out. And we got to get out here. Oh, we got blocked up well. But if we weren't there, he would have gotten even more. We would have been able to streamline that thing straight down the sideline rather than having to run around. Still a pretty big gain no matter how it happened. Henry's still in as, uh, yeah, Jackson damn near died on that return. Can't lie. The cutback is real. Almost cut back again. Nine yards gain. Wait, where is, uh, Wilson? Who's on who? Were we supposed to be on the running back? Felt like we were supposed to be on the tight end. I don't even know, but, you know, broken play, obviously, and we're just happy to not give up more, honestly. We're in the blitz. Press at the overtop, just so we don't get completely burned. Oh, wow, we actually almost just got so lucky with that dive. Good job by Cam Jones, though. Free rush did not disappoint. Been trusting Christian Watson uh, with Riley the whole time. Left the running back open, and ironically enough, there he goes. Slips off the tackle, and that'll be a tied game. The two routes kind of ran into each other, and uh, we got inadvertently PI'd for the touchdown. Watson down the field. Pretty good throw. Like I said, Riley couldn't get over there, and... And that was about as free as you can get. From the 25-yard line, play action. A little bit of a rush. Morant, nobody on. Oh, my. Did I click the wrong button there? I really want to run that play back just to see if that was just a dog crap throw or if I made the wrong call. Oh, wow, it was. That works out, though. Oh, my. I went to Morant on that play. And that was a good throw behind him a little bit, but... Another really good play. That play might be the move. That play action does kind of cook, though. Can't lie. Double on uh, Moran. He, I mean, he's good, but is he that open? Ronnie, part two. Really good catch. It's slightly overthrown. Ronnie Bell with a diving effort. What a play. Those plays are always scary because if you dive and then you kind of turn to, like, land on your side slash back, the ball could easily just bounce up and, you know, GG. Ball's right in the defender's hands. And Morant was open. Wow. Rashawn Gary's fast. Got a lot going on in this play. Can we even read this? And was just about to throw to Boots. Hey, and damn. Grunner just crushed us. Two minute warning. I know they're a little more leniently, you know, on that uh, rule nowadays with the like body weight, but that felt like a full body weight, no? Oh, there's nobody on him. He misses him. No way. Cunningham just missed the most open player in NFL history. Wow. Didn't lead the ball, didn't do any of that, and it just, it sailed. That could be the difference. Oh, I'll try to get a hand up, but it was too late. Try to get the strip as well. Had help and figured, you know, punch that ball out. Why not? Oh, we switched to the wrong guy. Not that it mattered. First down almost. I can't believe Cunningham missed that throw. That is ridiculous. Oh, good D, good D. Could even have some trade candidates for uh, this offseason. You know, Hayes, I believe, is star dev, and he's he's a good player. It's just we found better corners, and Cam Jones just doesn't even try. Switching to the wrong guy, thank you. Try to get to Wilson, and it just didn't happen. Good hit, Cam Jones. Blasted. Two timeouts left from the 21-yard line. They might be able to tie this up. No matter what they do here, we're in a good spot, though, because we do get ball at half. Ah, went to that. Oh, nice hit, Riley. Kind of protected the inside because I seen the corner was on the outside, and Riley, uh, you know, did not disappoint. We're in a little bit of a press. Bring them all up a little bit. 
Oh, I thought that was it. Uh, no, that's all right. No, it's not. Touchdown. Almost. I left the running back open, and that's what I thought he wasn't going to go to. I was like, oh, sweet. Didn't really matter. Run the run commit. And nice! It works out! That's what I was hoping would happen. Time out. I know there might have been a couple more seconds left there, but I am not going to be stuck with that play. I need more coverage out there than that. That's just giving him the freebie. We will be covering the running back if he runs out on our route. Can't get over it. Wow, what a seal off. They just smoked us. Forbes on the return. We only have one timeout, so there's really no point in, like, trying to be on offense and, you know, save all the time in the world. Probably run, you know, run one screen and then something crazy happens. We'll, uh, we'll use the timeout, go for something, but probably not going to see much come out of this play. Still going to try, though. And I thought they were on it for a moment. Try to pick up the blocks, and it just didn't really work out. Going to go to the second quarter down four. Pretty high-scoring games lately, the Dragons. Another team with decent potential. Definitely a lot more yards than us, but we do get the ball in the second half. So, you know, you would expect with them running that many plays that they would be, uh, you know, leading by a little bit more than this, and the yards would be even higher. But let's take a look at some of the games around the league. The Elks versus the Monarchs. We've seen the upset. The Elks. Winning against the Monarchs, keeping their season alive, it would appear. 9-8 might be a good enough position to uh, make a playoff spot for themselves. Of course, Joe Burrow not really playing well there. Uh, then we look at the Mounties versus the Voyagers. The Mounties smoking the Voyagers. 42-14 to might have solidified themselves in the playoffs with that one. Two interceptions from Dak, but a win is a win. Condors versus the Black Knights. And it's a close one, 10-3. to uh, both teams, you know, means a lot for them. You know, the seeding, and once again, Condor is not guaranteed a playoff spot, but in a good position. Look at some of the highlights. Not a lot of highlights. Some touchdowns, but the highlights aren't really there. Very basic plays from both teams so far. Just open players, good run block lanes, and, you know, just standard touchdowns, it feels like. I think we should continue to try and run inside. But maybe actually run inside this this half. We need to actually run the ball because Rodriguez is having a good game and we're just kind of forcing the ball a little bit. It's working out kind of, but the run game has also played really well. So let's do what works, you know. And I wish uh, Tyler Goodson or whoever the hell that was would have made a play there. But yeah, three carries in the first half despite the fact they had 54 yards on those three carries. There's really no excuse for it. There is excuse for it on this drive, for this play, because there is a lot of players there. What a freaking pickup. Good throw. A little behind him, but Latu will get a first down on it. Great play. I almost always audible this to the play action, but you know what? I'm actually going to hand this off. And I thought I could pick up the block. Nice rollover, though. Gain six as he rolled over a body, getting an extra two doing that. Yeah, I thought I could cut it back left, pick up the block with one guy already being blocked, but didn't really work out that way. Read option. Cunningham obviously got the speed to run that. And they're not going to be on it, but going to have to take a hit. Gains a yard. They didn't read the read option, but uh, they had two guys near enough to pick it up anyways. All right, this is uh, a long developer. I think uh, Latu might be open on this, though. And he is. First down, barely. Did enough. Latu with a couple of big plays this drive. His only two catches as well. And picking up a block, Rodriguez trucking, gains about five. Stretch to the right, we have a lot of motions. Oh, Lord. Oh, I didn't even bounce. I was going to be patient. The line was going to pick it up. They got pushed back, but they didn't really allow the, the, the tacklers to get in free, and our guy just bounces it. Beatty, need this. Good play. Been seeing the running backs drop a lot of wide open passes lately, so even though that was clean, you just never know. A little bit of a slower drive from us, but, you know, whatever works. It's going to be an automatic throw to Shorter. There's nobody on him. Will it work out? I don't know. And it does. Shorter. Lots of yards. Tries to make something happen. Falls forward after the fact to the 21. Shorter's had a couple of nice plays today as well, including a passing touchdown reception. Yep, that's how it said. Exactly like that. Kind of want to QB draw this, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, wow. That is a terrible throw. Wouldn't have gained as much, but it gained us three or four, I'd say. Let's move the players around. Go in the inside zone. Um, and we're trying to bait them out, basically. Let's go with this. Kind of go routes. 
and would have had the inside leverage of Coons. Would have been a tough catch, but doable. It's crazy to think about calling a timeout this early in the half, you know, I but I maybe should have called one there. And Rashawn Gary makes a play, gets a one-yard sack. That'll be a field goal to make it a one-point game. From the 25-yard line, down by one. Trying to get out here. Oh, my God, look at the blocks. And there's just nobody up there. Like, holy crap. They handed the ball off. Why are the safeties not coming up? Look, like, look at how far they're backing up. The ball is handed off here. He should have realized by now that it's a run. He's still backing up. Unbelievable. Doing it wrong. We got a long way to go with this roster, but, like, we got to be doing better than that. Hopefully he's not offside. He's not. Can't get the push. Oh, there's a good play for Weatherford. Loss of four on the run. Big fella. It pays to have some big linebackers, let me tell you. But the long arm span, it's hard to just, you know, get around them. And I tried to step up because I knew that was the lane he was going to take. But I had to go into that spot. Otherwise, he would have gotten more to the right. Either way, four yards, you know, getting back. The yards they lost is not, oh, Lord. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Going to get a press on Waddle, try and slow him down. And that's pretty good coverage. I don't know what else I could do. Pressed him hard, released so I didn't get called for illegal contact, and then ran the route for him, and yeah, he's just too fast. I mean, it's a perfect throw, and he's too fast. Could have got off the field, avoided points, but now points are almost guaranteed. Gonna get vertical, get out there. Huge hit! That ball is out! Recovered by Hicks! Oh my god, that was one of the hardest hit sticks I've ever seen. Weatherford crushed him. I mean, that ball just went... I have not seen the ball bounce like that on a hit stick in so long. That was a monster attack. Ball damn near got safety. Wait, what is this play actually? Is this a throw? This should just be a an option play. Oh, they read the hell out of the whole thing. I figured it was an option. Didn't really know, but it was. Inside handoff. I still believe on second and 11. I think we have the lane. There it is. Nice, Rodriguez. Bouncing. 15. Have it a game. I do wish there was a little bit more to the outside game, but a lot of it is predicated on, like, inside trickery. That's a great throw and catch. Great route and just, like, you know, kind of threw it to him before he was even ready, but it worked. You know, for the most part, even though we missed that wide open touchdown with Cunningham, I, I got to say Cunningham's played pretty well. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Oh, but Beatty will make it happen. Keen's about five. Beautiful. I mean, you can argue some of the throws have been pretty short, but some of them have not been. And Rodriguez fighting, gains about four. Beautiful. Running the read to their weakest side. Bradley Chubb's not a bad player, but he's not as good as Gary. And I don't know if they read it or not. But, uh, oh, Beatty, what a touchdown. I was going to say, I'll just take the guaranteed first down, maybe two, three yards, and he just slips it. The little man is hard to find. And uh, he's rolling around in the end zone as we regain the lead. Beautiful run. I don't know how the hell we scored. My man is breaking tackles. Look at him go. I mean, he's so just shifty and hard to bring down. They want to do a crack toss, which I don't know about. They're kind of just out here for all these outside routes and plays. Back in the end zone. High point. Perfect throw. Beautiful catch. Tried to throw it over that defender. Did a good job. Beautiful play. Two-point conversion successful. Up seven. Speaking of seven, they gain seven. That's how that goes. Starting off this drive strong. Almost the fourth quarter. They are going to hike it in time. Cam Jones is going to swallow that thing whole. It's only going to be a yard. And you know now it's third and two from the 35. I mean, I don't think it's go four time just yet. But giving us the ball back is dangerous. You just never know what kind of drive you're going to get out of us. And couldn't get through there. Nice hit. Big first down, though, for Cook. Bring a little bit of a rush, but you never know if it's going to go to the left or not. You do have that tight end over there. And they pick it up perfectly. Oh. Oh, finish this. Good play. Cook did a really good job of trying to, you know, just turn into a big home run play. But Wilson did a really good job tackling there. He didn't finish the play, but he was in a really bad position to bring him down one-on-one. -on -one, and yet he, he stopped him. Speaking of Wilson. Nice D. Knocked it out. Okay. John, who definitely sold on that because that was catchable. Would have been like a third and two. Never know. Breaks it off. Gets the first down. Instead, it's third and eight. Really tough situation. Uh-oh. Go route. Touchdown. And we can't get him. Oh, good tackle. Riley at the end. 
burned off the line. It was a perfect throw. He just threw it to a spot that, like, the receiver was nowhere near yet. He just knew where he was going to be, though. I mean, it's a go route, but it's still just, like, it's perfect. The ball is literally perfect. Oh, I thought we had the underneath bait. Good hit by Forbes, but, man, 101 Waddle is tough. Looks like it's going to be a tied-up game. They did not waste any time. From the 25-yard line, we got this uh, this kind of play-action uh, trickery, if you will. It's a tough throw, but that is on the money. And Morant will catch that and get underneath it to the 48. Might have the uh, tight end to the left side, but I wanted as much of a guarantee as I could. Stepped into the throw, and I was like, you know what? The best play probably is to just run and throw this rather than setting our feet and not getting the ball off. Screen pass. And that's a great play. You're not getting that with anyone on this roster other than maybe Fitzsimmons. The speed was needed there. But even Hendon Hooker, who does have a little bit of speed, I don't think has enough speed to get out there. We've got a lot of players over the center here. And that's a great cutback, and Rodriguez is going to find the five yards. Pretty decent blocking. At first, Cunningham, or uh, Rodriguez anyways, was just getting clean blocks, easy to run. Now he's kind of, and it's got to fight a little bit harder. Good push there. Oh, wow. Got a piece of us. I thought we were going to slip past him for five, but three's... Still gains enough yards. Hey, I've learned in life three is enough. It is enough. At least that's what I tell myself. Wide open, shorter. Floated that just to give him a chance at it. And that was clean, easy 18-yarder. The blitz definitely backfired that time. But I can't really say... Oh, no, this is the play I sold on last time. I can't really say I blame them. I'm going to run the ball here. Can't really blame them for that uh, blitz because their uh, pass rush base is actually struggling, which is really surprising. Five yards gain for Rodriguez. We usually run this play to the left. I'm actually going to run it to the right. We get the, the throw motion. There you go. Clean. Koontz trucks right through to the four. Great chance to regain the lead ourselves. I couldn't see a triple option. And if, man, Morant, they're going to be blitzing here, though. And there goes Rodriguez, all the way to the one. I thought he was in. Reach the ball over, big fella. Back to the read. They usually run a little bit of lighter a box when you're in shotgun, so not a bad call. Rod he fumbled, recovered by Belzer. Cunningham was actually going to score there on his own, but he fumbled the ball. He was falling forward, but unfortunately fumbled, and Belzer just cleans up. Oh, that could have been disastrous. What a play. Franklin was there, too. Could not have a single moment of hesitation. What a play. I think they're going to count that as a rushing touchdown for the linemen as well. Hey, whatever whatever works, man. Trying to get out there. Oh, no. Oh, what a play by us. Gains two. I mean, Cook is really cooked, but he's just had to do so much. Man coverage. Jackson. Ah, uh, wide open over the middle. Can't even get over to Johnny either. Almost broke that free. It is crazy that Howell throws a pick. I think his first throw and is just cooked ever since. Just clutched up. Oh, I thought we had that. And it kind of like, what the hell even happened? Well, Osborne first down. That's all I know. Osborne again. Let's get somebody in here. Rip move not going to work this time. I mean, we're giving a lot of separation for good reason, but that's just too free. 400 yards now. But in, in a weird way, you can almost call this, like, strategic. We look like we're going to be getting the ball back. Not ball bag. <laughs> we're not getting the ball bag. We're getting the ball back. But at the same time, could it backfire? Maybe they get a chance to score again before half. First things first, though. They do need the touchdown. We try to go for the pick out of position. It'll be a first down. Carl Brooks is injured. And I don't like that. What's the actual injury looking like? I think he'll be fine. Got a lot of wide receivers out here. One would imagine. Just before the two-minute warning. I mean, this wouldn't be a bad time to run it. To the corner. That's overthrown. I mean, that would have been a tough throw, so I don't blame him. That ball is underthrown to the... Nice. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you know, that ball is underthrown in just the slightest margin. That could have been pick six. Do we have a DB? Okay, we do have one free DB here with... Oh, the blitz gets there. And Cam Jones again stopping what would have been a touchdown, I think. Screen pass. Uh-oh. Pretty good blocking. Cook tries to do it. He gets five, but that's going to be fourth and goal from the five. I think we kind of got here blitzing. I think you, you do the job again. 
Free rush. No, it was picked up, but it was enough pressure, and the throw is missed. Turnover on downs from the five. We just need basically one first down, and they are kind of like looking pretty free here, unless this is a bait out. And, I mean, pretty damn good job of the DT, if anything. Inside handoff. I mean, I don't know if I even like this. Yeah, I didn't really like that from the snap. I should not have accepted that as our play. Screen pass in the eight is dangerous. Could get caught in the end zone. But screen pass is our play. And the DT does a pretty good job. Wow! That DT saved the game. He chased that thing down. Almost didn't even allow us to get the ball off because it was, like, you know, dangerous to throw it. Oh, we didn't get off the block. Good job, though. To the 50. No timeouts, though. But, yeah, and then he obviously chases him down. Would have been a first down, probably. What a play by the DT. I mean, there was no one else in sight that even realized the ball was thrown. Oh, he's going for it all. And he actually has him, but it's a good job by Hicks to knock it out. Hicks at him by a good five yards, and Waddle still ended out in front of him. Unbelievable, man. Waddle is so fast. Oh, right in between the zone. Good hit. The 29-yard line. Clock is ticking, though. Single high safety. Bring him a little bit more over to Waddle's side. That's the help we need. Go route. He's going to run. Oh, we're not on this. And he's going to throw it away. I don't know if I agree with that. I think you gain 10 easily, even if you're Tom Brady running that sideline. That's an interesting decision, to say the least. No doubt about it. That was a no-doubter. Shelton with the rip. Not going to get off the line. He's going to throw it sideline, which Johnny double taps to the 20. Should be just running man coverage. Cover 2 is not great because they're going to be looking for that middle of the field. Oh, that's going to be picked. Dropped. That's a tough catch, though. I can't blame Connor. That is a tough catch. We're bringing a little bit of heat. Oh, no. We'll bring the extra rusher. I mean, we're probably not ready for this. Yasm. And he catches it. Oh, wow. What a play. Did he actually finish the play, though? And they're going to go for two. Let's see if he actually caught this thing, though. I mean, that that's a tough catch. I think he tapped him. No way, bro. What a catch. Unbelievable. And they will, in fact, actually go for the extra point. Three timeouts, though. I mean, position. In position to uh, to score before this game goes to overtime. And 25 seconds isn't a lot, but I do once again bring up the argument of why wait till overtime? Whatever worries you have about, you know, throwing a pick, fumbling here, can happen in overtime as well. Oh, it's a little behind them. I try to, I just try to make sure that that ball wasn't going to get overthrown to the safety. Slant inside for Morant. You got that kind of like option route. Slant. Oh my god. I genuinely thought I could just get that over him. I don't know why I thought I could. I just did. And Rodriguez is going to get a little bit of a run, but obviously just making sure that we do take this thing to overtime is they have no timeouts. They can't stop the clock. The end of regulation. They have a lot more yards than us, but they've also run a lot more plays than us. But at the end of the day, it is 35 all, and four quarters wasn't enough. Tails. We win the toss, and because we have limited time, yeah, I mean, I think receiving the ball actually makes sense. We don't have that much time. This isn't a normal quarter. Like, what are we going to have? Six and a half? I wish. 655, that is a weird number. Maybe I should have still kicked the ball first. Oh, well. They're, they're, to be fair, they've been a little hot. So I think... I don't think you just... Wow, that is unfortunate. I don't think it is a universal decision. Actually, no, it's only in the playoffs anyways. The hell am I thinking? You definitely received it. What the hell? But if it was the playoffs, I still think it's situational. Oh, nice slip off. Good job. You know, the way their offense is playing, they've been kind of hot lately. I think, you know, you try to cool them down by playing offense. Play offense first. Pressure them if you get a score. Going to hand it off. Beatty, nice cutback. Should be a first down. That's going to be inches. This is absolute four down territory. So probably going to treat this as a run the ball. Don't get it. Run the ball again. I think it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Inside handoff. And, man, that DT is cooked, though. That DT has saved a lot more yards. We've had some plays. And he's just breaking off. Inside handoff. Pretty good blocking. Beatty. 
Oh, nice bounce. Beatty! Oh, he almost scored. What a play. Beatty is slipping off of everything. Fake motion. I mean, it's a real motion, but a fake handoff on the motion. And Rodriguez kind of worked out. Gains five. Been gaining almost five yards per carry at this rate. Slant Morant. Shorter's open. Trucks gets just enough for the first down. Do I really trust an out route with Shorter with Chayera as his guy? Oh, he's open. Good catch. Kind of played it safe. Didn't want to lean him upfield. Just get the ball to him. Five yards is great. Eight is better. I don't see why Shorter wouldn't run this as an out route. That's what I was about to say. And he drops it. Once again, it's a little overthrown. But he does the stupid thing again where he jumps and dives at a play he just didn't need to jump and dive at. Like, just, just catch the thing and run through it. Cunningham going to show off the legs. Untouched out of bounds. Well, actually touched. I would have I would have fell down there easily. Get me that 15 yards, baby. Free yards. Their fault. Just don't touch him. I mean, he's already out of bounds. They're kind of on this, but he runs through it. Shorter's got no one in sight and will score the touchdown. Justin Shorter wins the game. That play, I mean, it's kind of worked, but it has not worked that clean. The safety was lost. And Cunningham, back in the starting lineup, gets a first win for us out of this three-game stretch. Like I said, I think that might be enough to win the division. Sam Howell played pretty damn well. Cunningham was not bad himself, and his completion percentage was 64%. But, man, this team, resilient. Running game was really elite, in fairness. Uh, except one broken tackle. I don't see how that's physically possible. I guess juke moves don't count because... You know, he, you don't break the tackle. You break the ankles and don't even get tackled. Uh, Osborne, a billion catches with yards. Justin Shorter, a billion catches with yards. Two touchdowns. Uh, they had a lot more yards, obviously, but we had a team effort for the win. Morant with over 1,000 yards on the season as well. Carl Brooks injured. Didn't seem like a serious thing, though. He got a sack, which was great. Walt Jones with a sack. Or Walt James with a sack. Cam Jones with a sack. Interception Bynum. Interception for Weatherford. A lot of, like, defensive plays that kind of saved the day. The touchdown was unbelievable for Cordell Jackson. What a game and a victory. These games have been absolutely insane, though. Like, you just never know how it's going to go. They've been so impressive. Uh, as far as Justin Shorter, though, deep route, you know, it's not that his route running for deep needs to be improved. It's his speed does. And usually deep route or deep threat is the best way to get speed upgraded. And that's a really damn good upgrade, but unfortunately, nothing for speed. Two to release, two to catch, which now puts him at 89. He's a really good uh, receiver. He just needs to get the route running up a little bit, needs to get the release up a little bit, but the speed is his biggest problem by far. He's like really like Marquez Colston, or Marcus Colston, as some people with real English brain would say. But next week, the Condors, who we know is a good team. The Voyager, I, be I believe they're a really good team. And then I don't know about week 18, but tough matchups coming up. But based on the tiebreaker, I don't know about the Elks, but I think we may have already clinched the division. Actually, no, it's not. Because they could go 6-8, and 6-8, and eight, we lose. But one more win, and we clinch the division. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I really do appreciate getting your support on the channel. You can follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, Care plays for 9-minute content. And 200 likes, and we shall do another episode tomorrow. I didn't actually have one planned for tomorrow, so it's not like he just wants free likes. Sometimes, I mean, kind of, you know, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. But this one, didn't really have a plan, you know, upload for tomorrow with uh, the Bison. So, if you guys want to see it, uh, 200 likes, boom. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 